from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Do, do, do you have it? Do, 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 do you have it? Welcome to the Extreme Arena at Nickelodeon Studios. This is Global Guts. Nickelodeon's World Championship for Kids. Let's meet today's players from the United States of America wearing the full dosing flow. It's Greg. Big Dogs. Haney. Germany and the Ruthless Red, it's Thomas, Typhoon, Rosen. And from Israel and the Priceless Purple, it's more the Twister, Kesa. Three countries, three players, one goal. A glowing piece of our radical rock. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's World Championship Games, time now to go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Yo, mo. Hey Mike, here's a look at the standings. Team USA, Germany and Israel meet today with only two gold medals separating them. Who will capture the gold? Let's get underway and find out. Well, you're not down one, not two, but five goals. You better catch up in a hurry. And one way to do it, you got to blast it. That's right, over 200 balls falling down from the top of the extreme arena in 60 seconds. Who can survive the offensive pandemonium? Let's first go back to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, our players will try to score as many goals as possible. Players may not leave the center circle and may not touch the ball with their hands. And the player with the most goals at the end of 60 seconds is the winner. On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, the pandemonium begins. You got all those balls coming out of the big dog, scoring one. The big dog with the shank one off. And in purple, the typhoon missing one, the twister. Trying to twist her legs and kicking one in right there. So purple with another, purple with two goals. And the typhoon looks to have three. The big dog with another. The big dog barking up a storm. Booting it back and forth into the goal. You gotta have good ball control in this, folks, because once you get control of it, you still gotta have the accuracy to put it in the goal. As you see, the big dog just missing one. Typhoon kicking one right in there. Incredible control needed because while the balls are flying down on the ground, there's other people trying to kick the same ball as you as the Typhoon goes in, boots another one in, and three seconds left. Oh, the big dog, the bottom of the goal. That could cost him at the end. We'll go to Mo for the official results. Mo. Greg and Thomas scored first place. They tied with nine goals each, and Moore came in third place with four goals. In blasted typhoon season, the German rain will fall. Great control and accuracy right there. But the big dog needed one more bone to sit under the big canine canopy. Mr. Ambidextrous, us big dog bark. Ties for first place points. Let's go to Mo. Mo. My first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to both Greg from the USA and Thomas from Germany. And more from Israel gets 100 points in third place. Here's how it works. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And right now, let's get to know a little bit better this all-American athlete who's barking after a world title. Hey, big dog, Haney, spill your guts. Hi, I'm Greg Haney from Peoria, Arizona, USA. My favorite sports are football, weightlifting, and track and field. Self-esteem, agility, and good sportsmanship are the key ingredients to a good track athlete. After high school, I plan on going to the University of Georgia and playing football and then going to the pros. For our next global event, we have assembled the world's toughest terrain for our international cross-country race tornado run. Our players must make a turn right into a hot steaming stream, make another turn, follow through a pulse-quivering quake, and then finally, they'll bust through those vicious vines and make a turn into a swirling swamp fog to end the race. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, each player will race around the track, negotiating each obstacle. Best time wins. On your mark, 
get set. Up first is the big dog. Yeah, the big dog crossing the hot steaming stream, not letting the leaves slow him down. He is tied for the lead. And this man is a powerhouse right through the vines. Look at the big dog on all fours, barking right through that, through the fog, setting the pace, eating the ribbon. Let's go to Mo for the official time, Mo. Greg's time was 19 seconds even. Oh, he's just gonna kick back right now and watch our next player, Thomas. See what he can do. On your mark, get set. It's the Typhoon in Tornado Run. And the Typhoon Thomas has come all the way from Germany. He wants a glow and peace of the Radical Rock, but the pulse quivering quake slowed him down. He's gonna have to pick up the pace through the vines. He's got three seconds to get through the swamp fog across the finish. What'll it be? Oh, we'll go to Mo. Thomas's time was 19.4 seconds. Now there's still one more player to go there, more from Israel. On your mark, get set. All right, more. All the way from Israel, the time to beat 19.0. She's gonna have to pick up the pace and get those legs powering through. The quake, that's where Thomas had trouble. But she's really gonna have to generate some more speed through the vines. She's got about two seconds, she's gonna have to pick it up. Doesn't look like she's gonna get through. As you can see, the fog causing her to be a little bit tentative. Let's go to Mo. Moore's time was 23.6 seconds, so Greg took first place, Thomas took second place, and Moore took third place. So the twister in Tornado Run, making it through the fog of Valley and finish across the finish line, and the Typhoon was in the Tornado Run. The deceptive terrain of the quake slowed him down, cost him first place, because Knick-Knack, Patty Whack, the big dog, the big old bone, the first place points through the vibe. Well, now Greg from the USA takes first place with 600 points. In second place is Thomas from Germany with 500 points. In third place, Moore from Israel with 200 points. Go ride well, ladies and gentlemen. It's five from over. We're just getting started. The big dog broke through the fog. When you come back, you're going over the top and plunging right into the pool. Come back. to Global Guts. Get your chin up right here. Nickelodeon's World Championship for Kids is coming right back at you with more action. But right now, Germany's Thomas Typhoon. Spill your guts. Hello, my name is Thomas Hi, Rosen. I'm Thomas Rosen from Bochum, Germany. In my spare time, I love to play soccer, and I train at a track and field club. My favorite foods are... Wait, this is my interview. This is my twin brother, Christian. My biggest dream is to visit New Zealand since I saw a cool documentary about it. I will give my best at Global Guts, and I hope to succeed. Who's the wildest white water raptor in the world? Well, we've set up the most raging rapids to see which country's players can withstand the pounding punishment of our killer waves Mo. And the sound of my whistle players will maneuver around the buoys and high-five the spotter to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Well, the big dog is all business, and right now he has a perfect game on the line. We're first place finishes, and our first two events. The big dog is going to be turning around by the buoy. And look at this man, calm, cool, and collective, trying to turn White water into a canine carnival, but going into it, the second buoy. He's gonna have to get his arms moving. He's gotta get around that buoy on the other angle. And he will set the pace here for our other two players to beat. So you see the stamina it takes to consistently paddle through the rapids. And now, oh, pushing himself off the wall, trying not to get stuck in that crazy corner. He's gotta to touch. The spotter at the end, he's got to go for the dive. He's dumped the oar. He's got to pick it back up. He's losing precious seconds. He's got to make the choice. Does Still consistently, he, he, he's almost giving up here. He's just coming in 
like he's doing a little leisure water sports here. He's got to come in for the touch for the clock to stop. And you see the waves pushing him across there with the touch. Let's go to Mo and find out what the official time is. Mo. Greg's time was 1 minute 11.2 seconds. Thomas Typhoon is up next. On your mark, get set. This man has come all the way from Germany, as I've said. He wants a glowing piece of the radical rock, and he is making a beeline over that buoy. He is around it. 1.11 the time to beat. He's got about 50 seconds to get in, and indeed he does. Let's go to Mo for the official time, Mo. Thomas's time was 18.8 .8 seconds. Up next is Moore. On your mark, get set. So if Moore can get across the white water in less than 18.8, .8, she will be back in the thick of this race. She goes into this event with 200 points. Trailing Greg, who has 600, and Thomas, who has 500. Thomas now in the lead, and he will hold on to it. So Thomas will be in first place at the end of this event. If Moore can get across in less than about one minute, I believe 11 seconds was Greg's time, she will take second place points, which is worth 200. So she cannot give up. Putting her paddle in the water and making around the second buoy, you see the determination on her face. This Israeli has come to play. Pushing off, coming in for the touch. She's backed away. She can't get let that white water push her back towards the start. And coming in with the touch, we'll go to Mo and find out if that is official. Mo. Moore's time was 49.6 seconds. So Thomas takes first place. Moore takes second place. Greg takes third place. More, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? Israeli Twister likes it with determination. Watch this twist from the twist. The reach of the dive in the pool. Second place points. Let's check out the leaderboard. Go. Well, Mike, now Thomas from Germany takes the lead with 800 points. In second place is Greg from the USA with 700 points. In third place is Mo from Israel with 400 points. And Mo, we're in the thick of things right now, but yeah. first we're going to hear from this Israeli force who's been shaking the course. You just saw her finish second. Hey, Mo, the twister, spill your guts. Hello, my name Hi, is I'm Mo Kayser, and I'm from Haifa, Israel. I run, swim, play soccer, and basketball. But I like ping pong the best. I like telling jokes, making people laugh, and of course, having lots of fun. I like to go downtown with my friends to listen to music, talk, and of course, enjoy life. I'm psyched to be here at Global Guts to represent Israel and have a great time. Well, which kid has the best vertical leaps? We're about to go over the top to find out. We are strapping on some ballistic bungee, and our players are going to be hitting heights. Olympic high jumpers can't even hit. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Players have three jumps to clear heights of 2.5, 2.75, and 3 meters. Only their best jump counts, and the highest overall jump wins. On your mark, get set. The big dog takes his first bite out of the first level. And if that's official, meaning no false start, He'll be over the first height. Let's go to Mo. It's official. Greg cleared 2.5 meters. 2.75 is next. On your mark, get set. You gotta have timing, tuck, and propulsion. Here's the propulsion. Oh! Let's go to Mo and just make sure that's official. No, he did not clear it. Greg, um, Greg has one more chance to clear 2.75 meters. On your mark, get set. 2.75. He will set the pace. And the big dog, no! Kicking it off again. Let's go to Mo. Greg's highest jump was 2.5 meters. Okay, folks. So you see, as the big dog gets down from the aerial bridge, Thomas, the typhoon, is our leader. He's up next. On your mark, get set. This German jumper has 800 points. He's in first. And oh, knocking his knees into the bar on that. Let's just make sure that's official. Mo? It is official. He will have another chance at 2.5 meters. On your mark. Get set. Take off, jump, and landing. Oh, and a nice tuck. Little dilly dally with the ballet move there. If that's official, he's over 2.5. Mo. Yes, he cleared 2.5 meters. 2.75 meters is next. 
On your mark, get set. Kid force. Wobble guts. Oh, but no, his knees come bashing into it, so let's go to Mo. Thomas's highest jump was 2.5 meters. This is a perfect opportunity right now for more our Israeli twister to take 300 points and get back into the thick of it before we go to the crag. Let's go. On your mark, get set. More. Up. Oh, right into the bar. Let's just make sure she... That, that was official, Mo. That was official. We're resetting the bar at 2.5 meters. On your mark, get set. And more. The jump, the hit, the lift. So she is now tied. If that's official, Mo, is it official? It is, Mike. She will have one chance at 2.75 meters. On your mark, get set. This is for first place. If she goes up and over, but no. Bashing into it. Let's get to Mo for our final results. Mo. Mo's best jump was 2.5 meters. So all of our players got a first place tie. <laughs> Take a look. Get a little over the top with more going up and over exaltation. She tied for first place, and I had a little time yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, during practice to talk to the big dog. Here's what he had to say. A big dog, you get the phone call that you're going to be on Global Guts. Tell me about that. Well, my mom was pretty tricky. So she just, when the first call came, she didn't tell me about it and said that I was going to be very happy when she told me. So the second call came, and then she gave me the phone, and then they just said I was going to be on Global Gets. And he's here, and he's representing Team USA, the big dog. Rough. Back to the action. Everyone shared 300 points on that one. Let's go to Mo and see where we stand on the leaderboard now, Mo. Kind of the same, but with more points, Mike. Thomas from Germany is still in the lead with 1,100 points. In second place, Greg from the USA with 1,000 points. In third place, Mo from Israel with 700 points. You feel a little high on life? Global Rover! Global Rover! You gotta get this something! Up and over! Super Agro Drag! Coming up! Welcome back to Global Guts and Bang, ladies and gentlemen. Three nations representatives about to battle it out in our toughest event, the crag, where the points have skyrocketed. 375 for third, 550 for second, 725 for first. Let's go to Mo. Check out our leaderboard. Mo. After four events, Thomas from Germany is in the lead with 1,100 points. In second place is Greg from the USA with 1,000 points. And in third place, Mo from Israel with 700 points. A constant battle through four events that started with Blasted. Boom! There's more with one. And she had more. Two. But well, it wasn't enough because, ladies and gentlemen, Big Dog and the Typhoon tied each with nine blasted off with accurate shots. Then we get into a little tornado run with the Typhoon at trouble at the earthquake. That post quiver quake slowed him down, allowing the Big Dog to eat through those vines and come powering through the fog, not even hesitating. Look at this guy. He can't see. Hey, watch victory. Boom, first place right back there. But the big dog, big dog had trouble paddling through the waves. A lot of trouble in white water. He was just knocked around in that raft, which allowed Typhoon Tommy from Germany to come in with this stretch. Victory. And then we get into a little over the top. We're up and over goes the big dog, and then Moore came back. Three-way tie in that, and ladies and gentlemen, the competition is about to really heat up because we are now at the Super Agro Crag. First it was the Agro Crag, then it was the Mega Crag. Now, folks, the Super Agro Crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo, up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow, protecting the crack peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and the fury of a molten volcano that's ready to blow. You want some rules? I'll give you more. Mo. 
players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. All right, let me just tell you this, folks. After months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title. Bo, kick it off. On your mark, get set. And there it is, the whistle of Boulder Canyon goes Thomas. And the big dog hit the first actuator and making the turn through switchback bay. The typhoon, Thomas hesitated. And now, avalanche ledge. The rumbling rocks are ready to roll. And it's between blue and red. It's the big dog and the typhoon at the ice wall. Super Agro Crag Mike in first place Greg from the USA in second place Thomas from Germany in third place more from Israel what a finish <clears throat> on the Super Agro Crag Thomas the typhoon from Germany hitting the actuators and then making it past those boulders as the smoke and the snow all three of our players to show the global parity the ice wall at the same time, the suffering sheet of snow dumping on our players. And that at the top, Big Dog just dancing in there before the typhoon. What a finish to today's Super Agro Crag. Let's go to Mo and find out our final leaderboard standings. Mo. Here they are, Mike. In third place today, Mo from Israel with 1,075 points. In second place, Thomas from Germany with 1,650 points. Our winner today, Greg from the USA with 1,725 points. Well, if you want a definition of guts, Worldwide, look no further than these three players, more than Israel, to back to Israel, the bronze medal, one of six girls to compete for Team Israel in the Extreme Arena. The silver will go to Thomas, the Typhoon Man from Germany, who we'll bring that back to Germany. Show that he competed here with guts and determination. You're now hearing national anthem of the United States of America because the global guts go to Big Greg, Big Dog Hayden, it. hand it to the man, this Big Dog marked right up the super aggro crag, he'll take the back home. today, do, 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 these do three do, do, phenomenal do, do, do superstar athletes. I'm Mike O'Malley. Do, we'll see you next time on Global Guts for one more thing. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids behind me, they got Global Guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids. Do you have it?